I also have a wager that I put to the religious in these cases. And you may be interested to know that I've tried it with everyone from the guy who founded Bush's faith-based initiative, Mr. Olasky, to various Baptist pastors, a Buddhist nun, a rabbi, charismatic Catholic, various pastors on radio and television all up and down the country, no, not yet an answer from them. It's simple. You have to name or cite a moral action performed or a moral statement made by a believer that could not have been made by an atheist. That's all you have to do. And it cannot be done. Christopher Hitchens, who was one of the most famous atheists of our last generation, he would do debates, and one of the things he would like to spring on people in debates, uh, on Christians he's debating, is the question, what moral thing can a Christian do that an atheist can't do? And he would do this all the time. I mean, he, it was like a mantra of his in his debates. Tell me one moral thing that a Christian can do that an atheist can't do. And so often his debate partners would just go, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. And they wouldn't have anything. And that... Um, Here's something uh, I think is common in modern day atheism, pop atheism online, is that if they ask a question you don't know how to answer, then it, then they think they've they've they're, they've won. <laughs> like, like you just saying I don't know, it means they're right, which is not how reality works, right? Because <laughs> otherwise, every three year old is right as soon as they learn how to say why, why, why. But um, that's not how reality works. But at any rate, one pastor finally answered Christopher Hitchens, and he says, "Well, what moral thing can a Christian do that an atheist can't do?" tithe <laughs> i thought i thought that's that's probably not the best answer technically sort of yeah i mean atheists aren't going to tithe but as i thought about it i sat down and i did what sometimes i do i just hit pause on the debate and i sat and i went hmm, how would i answer that what would be a moral thing a christian could do that an atheist can't do and then it hit me the most important moral thing that anybody can do loving god like it doesn't occur to the atheist or even many Christians that were debating Christopher Hitchens, that loving God, the most important moral imperative of the universe, is something an atheist cannot do. So that the atheist is deprived of the highest moral imperative a Christian or a human is made for. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal. This is humanism. Humanism is let's, let's take care of each other, let's hold hands, but let's ignore God. Let's just leave God out of it. Let's not talk about God. Let's not worry about honoring God. We'll just take care of ourselves. But that's just rebuilding the Tower of Babel, right? Gathering together to do our own thing, independent of God. And this is a scary trend in our culture, and it's a religious trend. I see the reversing of the two commands, right? Jesus is like, love God with everything you've got. And second, love your neighbor in a lesser degree as you love yourself, which is still a massive amount of love but nothing compared to the love we have for God. But the religious trend I see is reversing these two commands. Loving the other person becomes the ultimate command. Loving God is like a footnote where you're, you're like, well, when I love them, I'm loving God automatically. And then that's really the only concern. That's not how Jesus did it, and it's not how I should do it. And it's the thing that people get wrong on morals.